Hello. Hi, YouTube in the future. Hi, Twitch chat right now. Welcome back. We are going to start Act 4 of Quantum Break first playthrough today. Very excited. I don't know where we left off. What did we do last time? We went to the gala. Uh, Jack escaped. Well, Hatch let him escape. Hatch, ooh, Hatch was being very devious. He blew up Kim's lab. I don't even know. Ready for a flash? It's going to be bright. Also, Christmas tree time. I couldn't wait. We got the snowman. Just feeling festive. Tis the season. But hi. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Let's do it. Oh, my eyes. The secret history of time travel. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive. Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Oh man, we didn't get to drive the car. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. Yeah, he took his. Sick All right, car. where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Lift bridge. Ahead. Gotta get to higher ground. Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking around. Oh, that car is sick. All right. I'm ready. Oh my gosh. This game's pretty. I say that every day. It's like the first thing I say every day. Oh, what do we got? We got two. Okay, I haven't played in a day, but it feels like it's been longer. Get to Beth and Sophia. Let's grab this first. I've been loving every part, so I bet you are right. I bet I'll love this part too. It's just so cool and time travel-y. Oh, you're gonna put one right there too. Show me that you can of light. Wait, where are we going? To the world of darkness. Was that a cat? What was that? I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of monarch. I don't know. Maybe you can sneak across? Well, try. maybe. Or I can pick you up. Let me know. Oh. Pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. That was Dr. Amaral. Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Is that Bright Falls? Actually, we are in Massachusetts. Better get inside before the chopper spots me. We are in Massachusetts. That's very fitting. Wait, the sky is so pretty, too. I know, Quantum Break is such a cool name. Man, I feel like this game's underrated. I mean, I haven't beaten it yet, so... Paul? Oh. I was just gonna say... What the actual fuck? It looks like G-Man. I don't even know, actually, who does he? Paul had this kid still there? Yeah, sorry, I'm yeah, going. Just looking for a viewpoint. It looks and sounds okay, right? We're good. What do you mean, why is there a giant lobster? It's on a lobster shack. Why would there not be a giant lobster? On a lobster shack. What else you can put on there? Give me a Where is that cat? Um, you're personally offending me as a as a former mainer. <laughs> TV? Right. Night Springs. <laughs> I was just joking. So, we don't know where he is. We can't, uh, we can't find him. So we need to look into a, you know, a, uh, a replacement. Is that talking about, wait. Oh, 
ponies are made of butter in night springs. There is all of us, lots of the Kratzu things happening in Gidu of Niget Springs. Thank you. All ponies are made of butter in Night Springs. We know the old dance, the fo um, fortunate and the destitute. The haves and the haves have nots. Those who dine at the table and those who starve in the street. But the tables can be over... Uh, the, uh, but the tables can be turned. The gluttonous consumer may find himself the consumable resource. Do that again. And yet, that is the fate that awaits you in Night Fringe. It's Night Springs. <laughs> night Cringe. Springs. <laughs> Sorry. Bright Springs. Night Springs. I thought, Fright. He... <laughs> I thought he was going to be so good. <laughs> we know the old dance. The fortunate and the destitute. The haves and the have-nots. Those who dine at the table and those who starve in the street, but the tables can be turned. The gluttonous consumer may find himself the consumable resource in night. Nice. Springs. <laughs> nice. Very right things. Heck yeah. You got that tune? Stuck in your head? Got stuck in your head? Awesome. Awesome. I love it. That's so fun. I just had a feeling. Whoa. We still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. About that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I don't care. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If we let Joyce across that bridge, we're pixels. It's getting tense don't out there. If I go anywhere near anything. that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. Alright. Any bright ideas? Our fire. There's no way in hell you're I'm gonna get away here. with it! You tell him. Okay, Tasso, sounds good. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Uh, we might have Giant to gas swim. sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. Yeah, for real. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. Right, I'll be there in a few minutes. I Don't was... stand me up. Oh my gosh. I was literally thinking the same thing. I was like, can I, can I just like slow time and run on the water or something? Okay. What How the hell? Down there. Where's the fire pole? You tell him, sister. Or guy. I don't know who that is. Wait, I don't know who's yelling. Frick Monarch. If the air is all right, cool. Bobby's back, and we're getting reports of more and more of these Monarch roadblocks springing up all over town. What the hell is going on in Riverport tonight? We've got a truck driver from Lucky Joe's Treasure Trove on the line. Greg Lawrence, talk to me. Yeah, I'm out here by Port Donnelly Bridge. Port Monarch's Donnelly. got the whole goddamn place locked down. Now they're trying to inspect my truck. Oh, bullshit alarm. No, these guys aren't police. This ain't the FBI. You got crap to deliver, then you hit the gas and push on through, my man. Oh, my God. Monarch's got no authority to stop you. And you tell that to everybody on that bridge. So what would Lucky Joe think, Greg, huh? Joe needs his goods. 
Yeah, that's that's what I said, but they're not letting me go. You know, just a little while ago, we were getting reports of some kind of explosion at the Monarch Mansion at Gull Island. This is the third event in, what, a uh, day or so that links Monarch to explosions and disasters and civilian casualties. Where are the police? Huh? Where are they? You don't let them search a damn thing. I've been trying to get somebody from Monarch on the line for a full day now. No comment. Riverport PD? No comment. I'm here to no comment a hell of a lot tonight. I want answers. You should too. We'll be right back after this. Rise up against Monarch. Let's go. Hell yeah. Doing great. How are you? Whenever you guys say Barry, I'm so sorry. I know Barry in this game or in Alan Wake, but I simply, oh shit, cannot bastards not think about Barry from RE1. That's the automatic Barry I think of. What the hell? Frick Monarch. I think I did this. this. Oh, Martin Hatch has been compromised, is that what they said? Oh. Martin Hatch doesn't have power. A little early? No, it's already 320. I'm a little late. Well, I mean, I started. Normal time. Poor Hatch. Mm, I don't think so. Is that outside? Oh yeah, I see it. Hi, Unconquered. You got a problem? <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> HQ, this is Gatekeeper 1. Sippies are up in arms over here. <laughs> Oh shoot. They're getting out of their cars. Some asshole from Lucky Joe's won't let us search his truck. You heard Serene. We take the hard line. Easy on the trigger finger, but if it comes to it. Copy. Well, hello, welcome. Do we have. Oh, we have five points. Let's go. Um, Time blast or wait, time rush. By aiming. We could do. Actually, we could do both of these. Just the level ones for both. Why not? Let's go. Now we've got options. Oh, wait. I didn't check the diaries between... At the beginning of this chapter, I forgot. Okay, wait. September 5th, 1999 for this one? Oh, this is an oldie. On Serene's plan, building Monarch in 1999. All right. September 5th, 1999. Again. I found a way back from the end of time through a second machine. Okay. I went back as far as it would send me. February 28th, 1999, with a simple goal. To use my knowledge of the past to protect us from the future I witnessed. Uh -huh. I've built a company from the ground up, invested in sure bets. We've made millions in mere weeks. And this is just the beginning. I can use this knowledge to do great things. I can use it to guide us to a better future, to make the world a better place. And it's strange, living all this a second time, reliving it all from the shadows. I recognized a vagrant the other day. I know how he dies weeks from now. I can save him from that fate. A simple start. If I can do that much, then I can save us all. I still see visions of it. Every day, haunting me. Time, frozen. Billions of people just stopped. For an eternity. Never living and never dead. She followed me here. Tried to kill me. I'd like to think it haunts her, too. Who, Beth? Okay, then back to October 10th, 2016. Dr. Sophia Amaral. Amaral. I keep calling her Amala. Amaral. 
That's her name. <laughs> I don't remember. So his thoughts about Hatch betraying him. It was him the whole time. Martin fucking Hatch has been sabotaging me from the inside. He destroyed the lab containing my only treatments. I can feel my sickness spreading by the minute. Without those treatments, it's only a matter of time until... He's had his hands in every phase of Monarch's development, overseen our R&D division for years. Why? Why now? This can't be about control. He wants control of Monarch. He is using this company for his own agenda, sure. building towards something. All those secret projects I granted him. What has he been up to? What? We will find him, and I will put an end to this once and for all. Okay. Control, he said it. Jack Joyce Diaries, okay, five and six. Hi, Prince Zion, welcome. Thanks for watching Red Dead 1. I loved Red Dead 1. Hi, Cubit. You gave yourself up at the party. Paul Serene responded by ordering your execution, yet here you are. Here I am. Here I am. How did you escape that cell? You work under Martin Hatch. I do? Then you know how I escaped. <laughs> it made me wonder whose side he was really on. I've done some research on the guy since then. He joined Monarch in 2001. He helped Paul shape the company. There's no record on Martin Hatch before then. Nothing. Okay. Like he didn't even exist. It's almost like he came Weird. back. I think it's time we move on. That's because she's on his side. Your behavior shifted during your mission to kidnap Dr. Amaral. You became less foolhardy, more calculated. What changed? I found hope. The second time machine? You actually thought you could go back and stop the fracture from ever occurring? Stop everything? There was a chance. I that was enough. Try. Yet every sign you've seen has proven otherwise. Your own brother posited that time works as a rigid closed loop. No interaction with the past could possibly change what has already occurred, and any attempt to do so would merely cause such events to occur in the exact manner they always did. Then what's the point Perhaps of time there travel? there was a lesson to be learned. My brother died trying to save this world. You know the last words that came out of his mouth? I'll never stop trying. Lesson learned. Sad. He's not sad. I don't accept it. Don't accept it. All right, we're up to date now. Very good. Yeah, they say control us more. Uh oh. Let's talk about that. That's my fault. I made Amy Pereira get died. I kind of wish I chose to talk to Paul, but I, I like how it's happened, but I wish Paul could have explained things to me. I don't know if he would have even explained anything. Oh, I didn't even jump down. Okay. Hey, you down there! Shut up! Don't come up here, man! Shut up! Checkpoint team, move in. Target has been spotted under the bridge. Can I shoot that guy? Oh, he's lucky. He's so lucky. HQ, silence. Oh, Gotta get to that pier. You later. Uh oh, shit. Oh, I'm bricked. Why can't I shield? Oh my god, that was scary. Why is it not working? Wait, why isn't it working? Oh, he's a shotgun? I'm dead.
I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Goodbye. Get down. Oh, come on, don't hit me, don't hit me. Holy shit. HQ, we've got eyes on the pier. Keep your sights on that dock. He may try to escape by water. Shit. God HQ, dang it. The civvies heard gunfire. They're freaking out up here. Beth, change of plans. The pier's too hot. Gotta find another way across. I'm almost there. Just wait two minutes. I'm not putting Dr. Amaral at risk. I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, what do I have for weapons? Can I... Oh, no. I want this. Okay, need good. to get him to the bridge. Why can't I do my across zipping? It. I want to zip around. Break off, helicopter. How are you? How are you? So I'm slightly jogging, Jack. Important. Wrong. Even distribution. All right. Fabulous. Scene. Oh, what's this? So much. All right. We got civvies trying to push through the line. Uh oh. You know your Good orders. Let's Hard go. line. Any means necessary. Ooh, that's my fault. Well, it's fine. Wait, what was that? Oh, I'm going up there. Falling apart. Holy crap. Okay. It's falling apart. Like, for real. This is bad. This might be my fault for choosing Hardline, but you know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Charlie Wincott, have you seen these two? Charlie Wincott and Fiona Miller, sought in connection with recent terror events. Do not approach. Please contact Monarch Solutions with any info as to their whereabouts. Uh-oh. Come on, Charlie. I'm ready for your character arc. Ready for a progression. Give me that. I'll take that. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you. Give my heavy pistol back, though. Wait. I want the heavy pistol. Thank you. Wait. Don't give it back to him. Leave it on the ground. Thank you. Thank you so much. Monarch Field Orders Update Martin Hatch. Yeah, sure. I should give it to the crowd. <laughs> Field order to, okay, Martin Hatch. All field operatives be advised that Martin Hatch is now considered a compromised asset. All orders and instructions from him, new or existing, have been rendered invalid and have been countermanded. Please contact your supervisor for further information as required. Hatch is responsible for the destruction of vital medical supplies involved in the deaths of numerous Monarch personnel and may be collaborating with Jack Joyce. Mm, I don't know about that. The investigation is ongoing, but Martin Hatch is to be detained with maximum force if encountered. If he cannot be captured, he should be considered a priority target and who should under no circumstances be allowed to escape. Take no chances, he is considered to be extremely dangerous.
shoot. I did not. <laughs> that was cool. Uh oh. Hello, Greek. The original be clear. I'm fighting clean today. I'm fighting clean today. Let's go. I'm having fun. I just needed a day of rest and I'm back. I know how to manipulate time properly now. First fire. Now I'm going my heavy. Oh, I have to use my carbine. Popping off. Oh my god, so fun. Okay. Cross. Anything else down here? I don't see anything. Woohoo! Is it sponsored by Nissan? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure. Nissan and Windows. And Microsoft. Microsoft needs to give it back to Remedy and just let them do what they want in life. That's what I have to say. Nice, all six. How we doing? 100%, love that. Nothing crazy here, just Cronon sources and lore, nothing affecting the future. What do we have? Four points, I think we need six for everything. Yeah. Cool. You know. I love Sam Lake's brain. I just feel like I was thinking this yesterday, or I think about it like every day that I play these, but it's like so cool. All the mixed media that, like, video game, a novel, music, like, just every, all the different art that they put in. Uh oh. Oh, we saw this at the very beginning. Oh, shit. This was like literally the opening. God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. This is this is so bad. <laughs> what you? I feel like there's a miscommunication between. I that. knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just oh. had to find a way down. Okay. Ow. No, what? 
frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. <laughs> this is so cool! Ooh. It's so crackly. <laughs> Okay, I was just playing. I just went for it, you know? <laughs> I was just playing. <laughs> Frozen Crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. That's what I did. I just ran and hoped for the best. Am I, I am supposed to go on that, okay. But can I even slow it? Okay, see, it just didn't work when I threw it the first time, that's why. I feel like it was tested. I had the right idea. Oh, here we go. I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. I could prefer the water, me too. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh... Hi, Squawfo. How you doing? The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. Ugh. I know it probably looks so crackly on my, on my stream. Like, I mess, it's hard to stream this, but it looks so good. I didn't... I hit control before shift by accident. That's my bad. I was being so patient. I was trying to shift control real fast. Rockstar, thank you. Welcome back. It looks good. Cool. My, like a little pixely sometimes. Oh. First try. Oh, geez, Louise. Nice boat. Let's do it. Hold it still. was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, tire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. I mean, it is part of Remedy Universe. Like, it's still connected, but it's an alternate reality. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Maybe Even if I fix can't. William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Okay. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Except... Or... You can agree to disagree. Isn't that what they already used as the lifeboat port? I'll have to run not? diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. You got it.
Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you. <laughs> Chill. Jack, Her before team. we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Oh? Oh yeah, I see where we are. Okay, well let me just go look at some lore first. What you got over here? You got a mind place board? Patch. This is the guy that visited me in the cell. Hmm. Sounds like Serene's on to him. According to Monarch Communications, Hatch sabotaged a Monarch lab. Yep. He may be undermining Paul, but I get the impression he's not on our side. Martin Hatch, what we know. Martin Hatch dossier. Facts gathered by Fiona Miller so far. Joined Monarch in 2001, became Serene's chief advisor on 2007. No records before 2001. Who was he? Where did he come from? Working against Monarch? Possible links to the following. Death of Dr. Kim, unconfirmed. I mean, he was the only one there. Alone with Dr. Kim at time of death, yeah. Death occurred just as Kim was on verge of a solution to Serene's time sickness. USB time machine sabotage, unconfirmed. Miscalculations on purpose? Hatch seen in lab. Assistance in Sophia's kidnapping, confirmed. Distra I mean, because he let me out. <clears throat> Where did he go? I know. <laughs> Distracted monarch while kidnapping occurred. Knew we were coming. Did not alert Serene. Destruction of Serene's remaining sickness treatments unconfirmed. Was present outside of Dr. Kim's lab when lab was destroyed. Accused Sophia of being responsible for this. Helped Charlie when caught escape. Confirmed. Currently helping Charlie reach monarch tower undetected. Disobeyed direct orders from Paul Serene, wants access to CFR, potentially desires to sabotage lifeboat protocol, sabotaging Serene, motive, secretly assuring Serene's downfall, wants to take over Monarch, why, sabotaging Monarch's survival plan from within, no possible reason for this, doesn't believe countermeasure could stop Fracture, not a potential ally, works for Monarch, therefore believes end of time is inevitable, then why attempt to sabotage lifeboat protocol? I don't know. I don't want to set the world on fire. Why are these doors closed? Mm -hmm. Beth, let's chat. Best 2010 plan. Best charts and plans for plan to travel to 2010 and steal the countermeasure. Okay. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. Mm -hmm. He also said, I took it. Mm-hmm. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010? No, we just steal me. It. If Will was right, oh. that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Easy peasy. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first <laughs> place. Because I'm Close afraid loops. that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. Jack doesn't pay attention. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Jack, I literally spend hours reading lore to you and notes, and Beth gets it. You're not, you're not getting it. I spend so much time. <laughs> Reading to you, Jack. Get real. <laughs> it's too much for him, I get it. He's into the guns. Okay, now I can go in here. He just glosses over, I know. Hello, Riverport. It's Bobby Radford and, uh... Bobby Radford. Well, you know where we're at, don't you? The poor Donnelly Bridge is gone, and... God knows how many people are going with it. You ever heard that 
Hindenburg thing, you know, with yes. the guy going, oh, the humanity, <laughs> oh, the humanity. Yeah. Jesus, I know how he felt. I don't understand how that happened. I hear yeah. the people on the boat were saying the bridge was up. Video footage says it wasn't, that the boat just rammed into it. It's insane. It's... Christ, Riverport's in so much trouble now, folks. We need someone to declare a state of emergency or something. But nobody's doing a goddamn thing. And nobody's talking about the fact that Monarch had set up an illegal roadblock right on that bridge, searching all the cars. No warrants, no due process, no nothing. Just near where their goddamn fancy mansion blew up. And now, this ship rams the bridge. That's a coincidence? That ain't no goddamn coincidence. We got that. And now we've got reports of car accidents happening all over the town. We've got... Why isn't somebody doing something? I know. Uh, <laughs> hello, Mayor! You're asleep at the goddamn wheel! Wake up! What the hell? <laughs> He's so Massachusetts and I love it a lot. We'll be right back. I honestly don't blame him. Honest, this is perfect. Hello, Mayor! Hello, Maya. I keep hearing that cat. What the heck? Rise up against Monarch. Let's go. Mayor Sutter. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Wait, what about... Yeah. Oh, she went through there. My bad. Sorry, Beth. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. Mm. She knows what it does. I'm confused because I think they were... Think we told her about it? I don't know what's going on. No. Will was never the kind to open up. But, okay. I can relate. Because when they activated... Will takes it to the next level. When we were kids, the only way that Will could express anything important to me was by informing my stuffed giraffe when I was in the room. That's precious. And weird. Hmm. Don't call me brother weird. Anything else over here? No, I figured not. It's fine. What was I gonna say? What was I saying? I don't remember. What do we got here? Holy freak. Did she find anything? No. I'm not sure. I'll go check. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm just gonna explain. Hi. Digger Games. Hi, you guys. Thank you so much. Amelia, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for what happened to you in part one for that to happen. I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, you guys. Thank you so much. Welcome. Yes, that's Amy. You should probably oh, see no. how Dr. Amaral's oh, doing. Oh, no. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Hi, you guys. It was her birthday. Happy birthday. I didn't kill Amy. Okay, listen. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome. Please, if you guys don't know, on her birthday, no, it was a few days ago, don't worry. <laughs> what did I do to Amy? Listen, I chose chaos. I'm sorry. I didn't think it I didn't think it would actually happen. And then it happened and I was like, oh my god. Oh man, thank you so much. Welcome. Happy birthday. I feel like I get your character killed in every game that I play. <laughs> oh my god. I really do. Oh man, what were you guys doing? What were they playing? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. This is my first playthrough of Quantum Break. I love it. If you don't know, I've been playing Alan Wake 1, Control, Alan Wake 2. I'm on a Remedy kick right now and they are so good. I love all these games. Love it. Demo for Brian Amelia's new game? Cool. Evolution, or evolution. Do Alice? Sneak peek for upcoming. Oh, sweet. 
I love the Remedy Verse 2, and these have all, in the past couple months, have all been my first playthrough. Doctor Who, I love your name. Hi, y'all. I'm sorry if I miss him, and thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Well, now I wish Amy was in my game. <laughs> I wish she was in my game from the moment that I accidentally had that happen to her. Okay. <laughs> so sorry oh man well thank you so much welcome everyone oh my gosh shout out please give them a shout out hey jack She's here in come spirit. check this out oh no see this could have been amy <laughs> hey shouldn't you be keeping an eye on amaral yeah shouldn't you yeah but i figure oh, what man. i'm doing is more important Oh man, that's funny. Well, thank you so much. Welcome everybody. Okay, what, what is, is all it? this? I, I dug know. through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. Oh man. You gotta see this video I found, man. Check out the TV. And everything else, I, I put on those tables over there. I bet she would. Okay, what are we talking about? We got a time machine. I gotta look at all this. It's lore time. Oh. Looks like he tested time travel with rats first. His little Schrodinger rat. So cute. Why am I not surprised that Will's hamster was a test subject? It looks like Schrodinger got a raw deal. Jeez, relax. Will's rat time machine schematics. William's schematics are the first time machine prototype. Honestly, it looks great. I understand. Me, smile. It works. <laughs> Can't be. I still get hate on that playthrough. People hate my choices in it. Listen, I love Detroit, but people hate my choices. <laughs> oh, man. It's not my fault. Okay, it's stressful. Me, smile. Oh my gosh, I'm actually crying laughing. <clears throat> Was it the worst ending? Don't know, you'll have to see. <laughs> it could have been worse. Swill's journal. Could have been worse. Everything's in here. All the secrets he kept from us. If he just told me about all of this, I could have... Oh, man. It's best what? not to think about that. Don't think Control about your... He spent 11 years building that thing. Ugh. Abandon everything else, including me. Now I know why. Mm -hmm. Sad. Will. Thanks, Jay. Welcome back. William's journal entry. Hi, Snappleflies. All right. Entry 63, William's journal entry. I just got back from the funeral. Oh, gosh. Sad. My parents are dead. It feels like I was just told about the crash an hour ago. It isn't real yet. Standing there, I was numb to it all, weighed down under some expectation to emote in a manner that suited the situation, as if I needed to cry to appease the crowd. Jack was always the younger brother copying me. In the graveyard, our roles were strangely reversed. Tears were running down my brother's face, and I was observing him like some alien desperately trying to learn to feel. Looking at the pain in his eyes, I wasn't thinking about my parents at all. Only Jack. Death is supposed to bring the living closer together, but I've never felt more distant from somebody I cared for so deeply, or dearly. Same. It tears me up inside, that I can't protect him from what he's going through. I can't ease his pain. I don't have the social proficiency to wield my empathy into some well-articulated -articul apology that will make him forget this. The irony is that the only cure for his pain is time. Time. Ever since February 28, 1999, the concept has been given new meaning. The experiment was meant to give hope, not take it away. What I was told that day has haunted me ever since. The very notion of a fracture in time has overshadowed everything since, even this. I don't need to see the future to know that I will let him down. I can't be the parental figure that Jack has lost. I can't be the brother that he needs. It's Christmas. I can't even give him that. No one can. There's nothing I want more than to protect him. And there's only one way I know how to do that with certainty. I will finish the countermeasure. I'll make sure that the dangers I was warned of that day never come to pass. I can't fix the past, but it's not too late for the future. 
Oh, frick, Will. So, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So then he already knows because Beth or whoever goes back and warns him and he starts making the countermeasure. But that's just so sad for Jack, just not having his brother at all after their parents die. And just like, I get it, you're trying to save like all of time, but it's like, oh. So painful. We got a TV here. What do we got? More Night Springs. What do we got? And then we'll look at what Nick's showing us. Oh, it's Will. Okay. The date is. Oh, the date is. It's, it's February 28th. Jesus, Will. 1999. William Joyce. 1999. After months First experiment. of arduous work, my machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me, since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by. Okay, in a short summary, I built a time machine, and it works. I'm gonna prove it, or die. Okay, just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay, core is active, chronon levels are stable. Travel clockwise around the corridor, exit him back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. Corridor is locked in place. Okay, setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive. Mm -hmm. But I can't travel backwards in time. True. Only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which yep. is uh, now. Okay. Machine's ready. We learned that in this note. Mother is stable. What I'm about to do is going to change the very fabric of Okay, is that when Beth and Serene both come through, maybe? Or I don't know. No, wait. Are those gunshots? I can't tell. Okay. I don't think he got shot, though. That wouldn't make sense. I don't know. Okay. Analyzing, thinking, analyzing. I'll go back to Nick in a sec. The toilets. Oh, what is that? Oh. I saw what that was. No use going there before talking to Dr. Amaral. Oh, okay. The gravity side and save the fish. Oh my gosh, are you looking at my Detroit playthrough? Okay, listen, I love Detroit so much. I played it again right after. But it was. Uh I try to forget that show. period. <laughs> oh my god. Please say there's a CD. Dude, I already got it in the stereo. I've been waiting yes. to see Sam Lake. Check it out. My bleeding clock with special guest red tears of forgotten dang, romance guys. where Alamo Bowling Alley River. Wow. Court. You know, this song really speaks to me. Uh-huh. Your true weapon is obviously the healing power of your music. I like how the clock is broken. I mean, time it's not broken even that time. Bad. I could totally bone to this. Thanks, Nick. Wait, this is a different collectible than if you had Amy alive? Oh my god, I've been waiting to see Sam. Like, look at him, look at him, long hair. Wait, is this, wait, who is this? That's not him, is it? Wait, I'm confused. Or is he saying he's in this band? So what you got here? What's on the computer? Oh, you made a forum thread? I've been posting my theories about Monarch on a bunch of forums. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's cool. I used an alias. Blanche McDougal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a chick. <laughs> He's so dumb. 
Nick's forum thread, Riverport Conspiracy Forum, subject monikers taking over, Blanche McDougal. I want that to be my gamer tag now. I'm not actually Blanche McDougal, but I have all kinds of inside scoops about Monarch and need to keep undercover until I find a way to save the world. I saw what really went down at the university and got out just in the nick of time to tell everybody all the crazy shit going on. Here's the truth. We're all Monarch built a playground of death and right now Riverport is going down the shit slide. What's at the bottom? Something called the end of time. It's all part of their master plan, which I'm calling Operation Clockstop. Monarch took everybody from the university and tried to kill them so they wouldn't talk about it. They just had a secret gala meeting about Operation Clockstop at Gull Island. What is the point of Operation Clockstop? As far as I can put together, it all has to do with numbers. In 1999, Monarch was formed. In 2010, they bought the industrial area, which they now are using to extract some weird energy shit. 1999 and 2010. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Multiply 11 by 2010 equals 22,110. Backwards, that's 01122, which is close to the industrial area zip code. Some people are like, hey, Nick, that's just a coincidence, but it can't be because it goes way deeper. Monarch assaulted the university on October 9th, 2016. In numbers, that's 10, 9, 6, 2016. Zeros are shaped like circles, kind of like dots in Morse code, which would mean that all the other numbers are dashes in Morse code. So 10, 9, 2016 is Morse code equals dot, dash, dot, dot, dash, dot, dash, dash. I looked that up in Morse code. It could be a couple different sets of <laughs> letters. A, A, N, M. R-T-T-E-M, and jubble all those words, and you could spell armament and meat man <laughs> equals a weapon. Meat man, butcher. What do butchers do? Chop and cut things. What do weapons do? Destroy things. Cutting things and destroying things are kind of connected, so there's that. Think about it. I'm still figuring out the rest, but I'm 95% there. By the way, the theory is copyright. Blanche McDougal, secretly not Blanche McDougal, 2016. Game 42. What the fuck? <laughs> Hansel Gretzky. This sounds a lot like Taxi Guy 69. He thought the gas prices were secret number codes for treasure coordinates or some shit. Gas is owned by oil companies. Who has huge investments in oil? Monarch. Hashtag all connected. <laughs> Who's the idiot now? <laughs> Plants. <laughs> Hashtag what drugs are you on? Sponge bacon. <laughs> what? Sponge bacon. Blanche is onto something. I've been seeing ghosts all around this Gundam city for years now. This is all connected. Hashtag all connected. Let's go to the bottom of the operation clocks up together. Perhaps Monarch is building a secret weapon, but who is the meat man? Hashtag who is the meat man? <laughs> Thanks, Sponge Bacon. Very good point. The question is what is the secret weapon built for? I'd care who the meat man is. Maybe we should focus on that. It doesn't make as much sense as my numbers theory. Or we shouldn't focus on that. Sponge again. The secret weapon is what is creating all the ghosts. Ghosts don't have meat. So perhaps the meat man is harvesting humans and then killing them to create more ghosts for his ghost army. Hashtag who is the meat man? Which is kind of dumb. This is definitely more about monarch than ghosts. You said Monarch's doing weird shit at the industrial area with energy. Could it be ghost energy? <laughs> the answer is yes. Their plan is simple. Harvest ghost energy. Cause ghost min multiplication. Build a massive ghost army. A mass haunting is underway and the meat man is behind all of this. Blanche was the first to discover the truth. Hashtag who is meat man. Blanche, please don't connect me to this. Chupacabra for real. <laughs> I started thinking about how to locate the meat man. I drew a dot on a map of Riverport over every butcher shop in the city. When I combined the dots, they all drew a picture of a swan with a really weird neck. The dots were black. Black swan? Hashtag who is meat man? Sponge bacon. Black swan, a symbol of darkness. This is getting somewhere. The dots were only black because we were using a black marker. There's no god I'm a meat man. I'm starting a new thread. <laughs> nice, Nick. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god okay i read that i looked at that that was not a lot of reading compared to the whole game as a whole this you gotta be able to read <laughs> there's a lot swan was that paul Control. 
So he arrived Object in the past. Or wait, altered item. Well, how's that possible? It wasn't even the same time machine he entered at the university. That's one question I still don't have an answer for. Wait, but they have. Wait. Any news on Monarch out there? Oh. Well, people are pissed as hell. I got but a Monarch thing. seems to be looking for you pretty hard. Been asking on a bunch of forums about your whereabouts. You want me to throw him off track? Uh, sure. Post that I was seen hiding in a catering van or something. Love it. Consider it done. Thank you so much. Oh my god, it's gonna show in the episode them reading the forum. Of... Like, oh, he's hiding in a catering van. Excellent. Alright, let's go to Dr. Amaral. Sophia. And then we can go in that room. We're not allowed to go in that room yet. Okay, I swear that looked like one right there, so it is. Wait, no, it's not. It's down there. What the heck? Hold on, Sophia. Very important business. I'm stuck. Wait, I can't jump. Can I get it? There are stairs. Oh, there we go. That was kind of rude. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I need like one more and I'll be able to level something else up. What do you even. Oh, hi, Tiggy. What's up, kitty cat? How are you doing? Where'd you come from? What you up to? Okay, I think we're good. Thanks, Flame. Sounds good. All right, Sophia. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? A power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, when the machine was activated. Um... 7 a.m.? Um... That's hours before we even got here. Well, the numbers don't lie. Okay, I guess I'm doing some climbing. Sure. Saves me from volunteering. Hmm. Those are normal. She's just tiny. I'm gonna talk to her again. So what was the deal with the power thing? The power relay is down. You can climb the ladder I lowered to find out what's wrong with it. Okay, but I'm just gonna check in case that does something. Dr. Amaral seems convinced that Paul's been to the end of time. Do you think that's true? Can't be. Otherwise, trying to prevent it would be pointless. Why? Huh. Because it's already happened. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Beth. I'm just gonna check if I can go in this door now. I don't know. I don't want to miss it, so. Oh, let's go. It's my stuff to wrap. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. Oh. He kept everything. Hmm. Guess he thought you might come back. My graphics card's freaking out. Is that? Yep. Will's personal psychiatrist. Want to get her a try? I think that giraffe's holding enough baggage.
Jack? You okay? Yeah. What's wrong? Toto. What? That's my signature. You made this? Wait, what? It I've never her. even been here before. It is her painting. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Or wait. Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. You're just telling me this now. Jack, that woman. It was you. Cool. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass, and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. Okay. All right. Okay. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try your way. Okay, Frick. Oh, yeah, there's some. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. Cool. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, Beth. Wait, let me see the notebook. The notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. What the heck? Beth, I know this encounter will be a lot to take in. After all, it's not every day you meet your future self. I tell you that you need to keep this all a secret, but I know you won't listen. You'll learn that lesson the hard way. Next few years won't be easy for you. Nobody you know is ever going to understand what you're going through. Those closest to you will try to change you, convince you that you're losing your mind. You're not, you're special. You have been chosen to do something amazing. Know that your struggles will all be worth it in the end because you have a purpose. You're going to save the world. How do I know? I've been through this all before, and I'm going to prove it. Below you will find a list of events that will come to pass in the future. They cannot be changed or undone. It will take time for you to accept this, but eventually you will learn to use this knowledge to your advantage. You'll be prepared for what is coming. October 3rd, 2000. Derek Stevenson has been bullying you for months. On October 3rd, you will push him down the staircase at school. You will do everything in your power to resist this, partly to avoid the consequences, partly to prove this book wrong, but the terrible thing he will say in the moment will be too much for you to handle. He'll pretend to cry, claim that you gave him a concussion, and you'll take all the blame. You'll be transferred to another school. You'll hope things will get better. They won't. It's going to be a difficult year. Whenever you feel helpless, just remember this book. You are special. You have a purpose that they don't. Hold on to that. And if it makes you feel better, 16 years from now, Derek will be working at a dollar store. He still lives with his mom. <laughs> December 3rd, 2000. Dr. Hartst Hartsook from next door will pass away. February 3rd, 2001. The kids at school will steal your jacket. Your parents will claim that you are hiding it on purpose so that they will buy you a new one. Look in the bin on the corner of 3rd and Main. You'll find something that will get you through the winter. You'll be teased for wearing it by Michelle. You'll fight back, but it will only make things worse. Eventually, when you are able to contain your anger, take her aside and say the following to her. I'm sorry about your mom. Then give her a hug. She will push you away. She will look incredibly confused, vulnerable. She will never tease you again. Oh my gosh. What? Thanks, thanks Jeff Bezos, Kenobi. Mommy. Welcome back. Thanks for the prime sub. April 24, 2001. 
Erica, your best friend, will break her arm. Having read this, you will do everything in your power to prevent this. The action you take to avoid this from happening will only make it so. This is the first time you will tru truly witness that your fate is already determined and cannot be changed. Erica will blame you for the incident. Try not to take this to heart. You will soon discover that she isn't the friend you thought she was. Stay strong. You will find people who respect you for who you are very soon. August 5th, 2001. You will take the night bus home. There will be only one other there will be only one other passenger on board. A scruffy looking kid with a black eye. His name is Jack Joyce. Remember his face. He's going to become important down the line. September 11th, 2001. Ooh. This is the one that will change you. An event will occur that will devastate the entire nation. An act of terrorism will cause the World Trade Centers to collapse. Thousands will die. I won't go into further detail because the more you know, the more painful it will become when you are unable to prevent it. And you will try to prevent it. Yikes. You will fail. You will curse this book for not telling you more. You will curse yourself for not being able to stop it. It will take a long time to get over this, but eventually you will use this pain to feel your path forward. You will now, you've now felt what it is to com be completely unprepared for what is coming. It won't happen again. Next time, you will be ready. This is the event that will finally make you believe. Any doubt you had will disappear. You're ready to take on this mission. So what is coming? October 8th, 2016. An experiment gone wrong will cause time to break down. This event will be referred to as a fracture in time. The onset of this event cannot be prevented, but the outcome must be. If the fracture is not stopped, then time itself will come to an end. Life on our planet will end. Saving the world was an overstatement. It is your mission. You must stop the fracture. You can pull this off, but to do so, you need, or you need to follow some simple instructions. How can we even stop it, though, if it's not even, if it's already a thing, like she said? Learn who to trust. Short answer, nobody. The less people know about you, the safer you will be. From this point forward, your mission takes priority over every other aspect of your life. Do not start a relationship of any kind that you aren't willing to leave behind at a moment's notice. There is no, or there is one exception to this rule. We'll get to that. Know your enemy. Monarch solutions. They will try to prevent you from achieving your goal. Learn everything you can about them. You will know the best way to achieve this when the time is right. Monarch is run by a, man, a man named Paul Serene. You must never be seen by Paul Serene. If he discovers you, then you will risk failing your mission. Learn everything you can about him. Remain hidden, but keep in mind, the best place to hide is often in plain sight. Blend in. Change your appearance frequently, hair color, clothing style, everything. Be cautious about drawing attention to yourself. Learn to blend in. Examine those around you, the way they move, speak, laugh. Copy them. Become your surroundings train daily. There are a series of skills you will need to master to truly be prepared. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, Filipino Kali, and Yeet Kunido? Sorry. Weapons training, knives, pistols, shotguns, rifles, wilderness survival, compart compartmentalization, lip reading, face reading. This is one that you will build as you go. In time, you will understand what is necessary and what isn't. Don't rush yourself. Start with gymnastics. So much to remember. Well, she has like 20 years to read this, so she's got time to study. Hi, Hash. Speaking of study, study your target. Jack Joyce. He is the one person who can help you in your mission. He is the exception to rule number one. You can trust him. Learn what you can about Jack. Study him from afar, but do not approach him directly. You aren't the only one watching him. On October 9th, 2016, you will rescue Jack Joyce. From there, the next steps will, will reveal themselves. Be patient with him. He's stubborn, reckless, naive, but you can't do this without him. And he has his moments. He's much smarter than he seems at first. Don't mistake grief for stupidity. Sad. Study your objective, the countermeasure. This is the device that was built to stop fracture in time. This is your objective. Find the countermeasure and use it to stop the fracture. Achieve this and the world will be saved. The device was built by Jack's brother, Dr. William Joyce. Any attempt to contact William or find the countermeasure before the onset of the fracture will be in vain. Wait, Jack will show you the way. Okay, so she doesn't seal it. Wait, why does she think she does if she read this? Wait, did she only just get this right now and then give it? Wait, but then she would have got it as kids, so she would have had it. Where'd she get it in the first place? Uh, hello?
Where's my emote? That one. Uh... Oh, well, I guess it's after the fracture, so we go back now and get it. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. The countermeasure, this is the device that was built to stop the fracture in time. This is your objective. Find the countermeasure and use it to stop the fracture. Achieve this. Built. I need time to contact William or find the countermeasure before the onset of the fracture. Okay, so wait, but... Okay. Oh yeah, true. So it's after the fracture, so now she can travel in time and she can go back and she'll still be able to talk to William because she does talk to William because then he's emailing her a bunch. Okay, I was just trying to get time in my brain correct. <laughs> when you first read this, it won't make much sense to you. Over time, you'll believe every word, but you will feel unprepared. You will wish that I had told you everything. I promise you that what is written here is everything you will need in order to get you where you need to be. I know this because I'm already there. Chin up, Toto. You're going to achieve amazing things. You. Oh my god, that's so cool. Imagine we could really do this. Okay, so if she's writing this, like, at the end of time and they save the world, like, hopefully this is good. Like, she's telling her everything. So hopefully, happy ending. Easy peasy. Holy moly. Holy freak. But, like, when? So cool. Wait, is she going here? Is that right here or in the other room? I think that's it. I do have a PS5, yeah. Looks climbable. What? Well, what have we got here? I can upgrade. I have six points. Oh my god, this is bright. Um, pulse increase range. That's what I want first. I like that. Oh, is this the way I was supposed to go? To, like, go up the t to the time machine? Oh, wait. Oh. So did I accidentally- I was accidentally supposed to go this way? Because it doesn't- Oh, I see. It doesn't connect over here, maybe. Oh, I thought you just went up there. Okay. Oh, we know there is a ladder. But... Now I'm confused. Console here's got two red lights, one green. Okay, I see. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Okay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Okay, now I see. Perfect. Above the machine. Perfect place for a reset switch, Will. <laughs> oh, I can get up like this? Oh, I could have gone that way or this way then, huh? Wait, that's a very different one. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Back? Where's that one? Can I go in there? Oh, it's up there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I saw that. I feel like that game just came out. It's funny that it's remastered already. Weird. I feel like it's so new. <laughs> okay, the first red light is now green. Good. One more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the machine. Perfect. I'll do that. Oof. 
Sorry, I was lazy. Alright, perfect. You wanna boost me up? Oh, never mind. Wait, there we go. It's an addition that, yeah. It's true. The other saw they're adding new stuff. You die jumping down. Oh my god, so you take the fall damage too? Put maintenance controls way up there? <laughs> That's exactly the kind of question that never would have entered Will's mind while building this thing. Hey, I think I can get to the reset from here. Of course. Shit. I'm still getting used to that. Don't expect to. Oh, she can... Or wait. Oh yeah, because I gave her a thing, right? Or is she wearing a thing? She's fragile, so avoid stepping. It's easier said than done. No pressure. It's the fate of the world. Beth, come on. Trample, yes, you there are. There we go. <laughs> At least they're not like pea cups. I'm here. Thank you. I've done it. All right. All lights are green. You. Wait, I'm nervous. Are we really going in it? Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Ooh. <gasps> Stop. Set the data into the console. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's hundred percent. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Before we do this, I have to pee so bad. I'll be right back, and then we'll do it. Cliffhanger. Ready? Okay. Be right back. Pause. No flashbang. Be right back. Actually, I guess if I go to the other screen, then people come in, they can see where we are. Okay, perfect. Okay, be right back. All right, I'll enter the date. We're 100%. We ready? We're good. Beep boop. July 4th, 2010. Wait. Are you ready? July 4th, 2010. No. Are you? No. Not at no. all. No. No. Okay. Okay, man. Let's go. Holy. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know it was instant. This is it. <laughs> Next oh, holy. There's no turning back. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Oh. Wait. I knew it would be only her who went what in. What did you do? That was the wrong door. Uh -huh. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. Oh, shit. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. Fuck! Uh. We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Uh huh. So they already have it. That's yeah. Okay. Shoot. Okay. I'm gonna follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. Yeah, I've got this. Don't worry. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I'm going back. She was going forward. Wait. Why'd she go in the left? Wait. Okay, she did go forward. Because... Okay, so maybe the best at the end of time. I don't know though. Okay. 
Oh, she went in the other way. I'm going. Ooh, I'm going back. Harry Potter snake language? Is he parcel pot? Can't tell him. July 4th, 2010, six years before the fracture. Oh, this is weird, my heart. I agree, Desert, I feel like it's so underrated, it's so cool. Your first journey back in time, mm -hmm. 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait. Because I wasn't alone. Okay. Wait, well, why did we do 2010? Am I silly? I don't remember exactly why 2010. From William Joyce. Okay, Will and Beth. July 4th, 2010. To Beth from Will. It's finished. It's finally finished. Tests are positive. I've officially constructed a working countermeasure for a fracture in time. Okay, so that's why. Because that's when he finished it. Okay. Thank you. I can't prove it, obviously, since there are no fractures to deploy it against, but I believe it will work. It has passed every test I can conceive. There's no reason I can see that it wouldn't work. Or it wouldn't. Given your knowledge of the future, I'm guessing you already knew this would be the date I completed my work. The day has been a long time coming. I was beginning to doubt it was possible. I haven't heard from you in almost two years now. Please tell me you're still out there. To Will from Beth, just 40 minutes later. I'm now going to ask you to do something that will sound counterintuitive. Leave the workshop. Leave the countermeasure behind and do not return until tomorrow morning. As with all of my orders, it is best that I don't go into further detail. Oh no, because... Okay, leaving the workshop now, the countermeasure is secured in my safe. I know better than to ask the reasoning behind this request. In 11 years, you've never been wrong and I don't want to know about the future anyway. But that won't make the e it easier for me to digest. Can we meet tomorrow? Now that the, now that, <laughs> now that the device is complete, need to know what the next steps are. Please be careful with the countermeasure. It's tremendously powerful and sourcing the chronon particles for it alone has taken over a decade. Rebuilding would take me years and years. Okay. Well, let's repeat. I, what? Why? What? Get down. <coughs> hey, Bobby Radford coming at you on 4th of July. And what a fine <laughs> day it is, too. Things are looking up for Riverport. Uh, don't believe me? Oh. Just look at that shiny new Monarch building going up. Uh. That's a big deal for this town. Sure, I know there's been complaints. Talking about how Monarch's tearing down this and that. Taking over the mom and pop spots. Making Riverport more corporate. Uh, some of that's happening. It ain't all good. A huge corporation like that, you know, they're all about power and profit. But I say, <laughs> hold on there. Put it in perspective. This town's been miserable for a long time. A long time. When our shipbuilding industry took that final nosedive, we hit one hell of a slump. A lot of people I know have been unemployed for years now, and that's hard. But 
monarchs here. And they're starting to change that big time. So they ain't perfect. So what? It beats the alternative. I want to be optimistic about this. He's not optimistic in six years. The future. I want to believe that this is capitalism working as intended, you know? Mm -hmm. The American way, you could say. Well, just wait. You just wait. You can't climb up that. You climb on the table, but you can't climb up there. Oh, excuse me. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. Well, you know Beth was making the graffiti, so... <laughs> excuse me. in here. All right, hold on. It's Beth. No, I don't... This is so cool. I love time travel. Huh. Who the hell is that? Huh? The fuck are they shooting at? Oh, that's shots? Oh, I thought that was, like, the door slamming or, like... Oh. I don't know what I thought that was. Just some paranormal shit. There we go. I thought it was a g g, -g ghost Just a raccoon. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can... I probably can't open this door right now, but... It's locked. I gotta check out that gunfire before I go anywhere else. Fine, then. Maybe I will. Okay, now I now I hear it, but I don't know. It's definitely your girl just training. end of time or some shit. I don't know. Beth, why did you go Jack? that way? That's forward. Oh, Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. Okay, this is when. Okay. Set William's machine to 1999. Okay, he did get the shot. The first there. possible exit point. Don't shoot! Okay, don't hey, shoot! Don't hey, shoot! It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Ah, it's okay. I'm on your side. It's the video. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. Oh, for okay, cool. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. Uh huh. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Uh, Why? Why didn't you come back? Uh, we should get ready. I want to cry. 
We don't have much time. Yo, that's like what makes me cry the most watching Doctor Who and time, other time travel stuff is like when people get sent. Oh my God, that one episode. She had changed. Uh, and there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. Like when you get sent to a different point in time and you have to live out so much time without the people you love or like care about or like alone or just like, uh, or just like a completely different time that you know and then you have to, oh my God. Oh my God, Amy and Rory don't even talk about Rory. Oh my gosh. So she was in she was with us in twenty sixteen and then she got sent to where the frick ever in the future. So when we just saw her and then so then she was just in nineteen ninety nine and now she's in ten. So she was alone or doing whatever, trying to make sure Will did everything he needed to do. But she didn't meet Will, I thought. Or like or wait, no, she did. She I mean, she met Will, but then she didn't see him again maybe after. For 11 years, okay. My heart, poor Beth. Okay, so then she's writing this now? Or wait, oh my gosh. Hi Alexander. Yeah, or you come back and they've been dead for thousands of years. Yeah, exactly. Like space travel, space and time travel. Mm-hmm. Dude, Doctor Who is so good. That's one of my favorite shows ever. If not my favorite show ever. What exactly do you believe changed in Beth? She lost hope. February 28th, 1999, Best Journal, back in time. Here I am, back in a time I've already lived once before. No idea how long I've needed, or I'll need to stay here. No idea what comes next. This isn't how it was supposed to go. This wasn't the plan. If I'm going to come into terms with that, then I'm going to need to write it all down. There's nobody to tell this to but myself. So, so hello me again. Oh. This all started back in 2016. Jack and I kidnapped Dr. Marl. We are supposed to use the time machine for travel back to 2010 and retrieve the countermeasure. I believe Dr. Marl switched the date at the last moment. I heard Jack calling out, but it was too late. I was already inside. There was nothing to do but keep moving forward. And when I exited the corridor, I arrived in the one place I never thought possible, the end of time. My greatest fear was realized. I'm still trying to grasp what that means. My entire life has been devoted to stopping the fracture. What I saw, was it proof that it couldn't be stopped? I can't believe that. There's a logic to all of this, a meaning. I just haven't found it yet. I'm not ready to write down details of the end of time. Not yet. The essential part of the story is that I found a way back. I spent a long time trying to fix William's machine, but somebody beat me to it. He set a course to the earliest time the machine could operate. The first time the core was activated. February 28th, someone, or some, but somebody beat me to it. Well, she knows that's Paul Serene though, doesn't she? Part of the story is that I found a way back. I spent a long time trying to, she's saying somebody beat me to it, but that was Paul. He set a course to the earliest time in the machine could operate the first time the core was activated. February 28th, 1990, I followed him through. Also, he was wearing the t-shirt. Um, like in those shots and in the, like when they're shooting each other and in that, he's still wearing that t-shirt from the 20 uh, from the fracture like when we first started so i don't know you know just saying um i followed him through that's when i found william still alive much younger than i had ever seen him i warned him about the fracture i told him that he was the only one who could create a solution he begged me not to tell him anything else about the future he said he couldn't stand living like that being constantly aware of what would come to pass his every action just part of the preordained dance. I wanted to tell him more, but I know how he felt. William agreed to do what must be done. He agreed to build the countermeasure. This whole time, it was me who set him on that path. He says the machine doesn't have the sufficient chronon capacity to return me to the future. He says a jump that far would be nearly impossible without a substantial scientific breakthrough. Apparently that hasn't happened yet. That's his way of saying I'm trapped in 1999, second time around. So here I am. July 1999, time machine move equals success. I worked with Will to get the time machine moved. 
had to make sure Serene wouldn't be able to use it to his advantage, so we moved to the one place I knew it would be safe, Bradbury Swimming Pool. Oh my gosh. So she helped him move it there. Will spent a big chunk of his research grant buying the property. It's the one place I know for sure that Monarch won't find us. After all, they still weren't aware of it in 2016. That means this is my new home for the time being. Will refuses to build the countermeasure here. He says that it is to be done at his workshop. He chose that location built to build the time machine for a reason. Something about abnormal chronon density, anomalies, whatever. It didn't seem to concern him that the very people who need to hide from know about his workshop. Probably doesn't help that he won't let me tell him who these people actually are. The guy's almost as stubborn as his brother. Now that the move is complete and Will is on his way, all I can do is wait. Not liking the idea of that. Keeping busy was the only thing that distracted me from the eerie nature of being trapped here. Guess I should look at the bright side. Second chance at having a killer Y2K party? September 5th, 1999. Little me. The most surreal experience. Her eyes look so full of life. Looking to the clouds. Invulnerable to the world around her. She looked full of life. She looked happy. It was me. Oh my gosh, it's making me cry. <laughs> I knew the day was coming. I knew that I had to go see her and set her on her mission so that she would do what needed to be done so that somebody, or someday, she would become, well, me. She was in the backyard, bright red duffel coat, playing. Simple pleasures. It's strange. I remember the small details so differently the first time around. When I was a child, that woman who came to see me seemed like an angel, a limitless source of wisdom gifting me with a purpose. Now I was that woman, trembling, a lump in my stomach, nervous as hell doesn't matter or it didn't matter i knew she was too young to see those things in my face i gave her the notebook i told a small child to give up those simple pleasures to pursue a life that would bring nothing but pain and hardship i promised her that it would be all worth it that she would make a difference that she would save the world she believed me <laughs> Dude. January 1st, 2000, epic Y2K party. Ate bagels with cream cheese and watched Buffy re reruns in a drain swimming pool. Party on. That sounds sick, actually. <laughs> Let's go. 9-11. I tried to stop it a second time. I warned them. Told them exactly what was going to happen. Nothing changed. What the hell? I came to terms with the fact that none of this could be changed as a child. But since then, I've seen things that make me desperate to prove myself wrong desperate to believe that I've seen or what I've seen cannot come to pass I tried to stop the rise of monarch I tried to stop Paul Serene both versions of him every action was ne negated by the force of a timeline that cannot be bent or broken I've tried to stop tragedy as well Jack's parents Christmas of 99 I knew what happened to them this time I was there the car crashed exactly as it was supposed to my presence only led it to happen as it always did I went to the funeral, I watched Jack cry, I watched Will build up a wall around himself, I watched two brothers change forever in that moment, and I could do nothing about it. Now this. Fuck. <laughs> I'm dying inside. 2002, Monarch. They spotted me near Will William's workshop. Barely got out of there alive. After all this time, Serena's still obsessed with finding me. He won't give up until he does. Have to be more careful in the future. May 22nd, 2003, a year later, end of time. Been having re recurring nightmares about what I saw. Oh my God, this is really long, but I don't care. I didn't notice it was that one. Been having recurring nightmares about what I saw. I've been dreading doing this, but it's time. I have to write it out. It's the only way to move past it. In 2016, I entered the time machine, intending to travel back to 2010. That didn't happen. Dr. Marl changed the date. When I exited the machine, I arrived at the end of time. The fracture had run its course. Time had stopped altogether. The entire world was frozen in a hanging moment. I was the only one still able to function, or so I thought. Then the shifters came. I was wondering if she had to fight shifters a lot. Oh gosh, we read about them. I could still hear them. Their sounds echo through my dreams. The entire world was still, except me. They really don't like movement. I stepped out of the machine into the one thing I spent my entire life trying to prevent. The fracture was never fixed. I was living through the proof. The first hours were the hardest. I was living through a nightmare that I couldn't wake up from, surrounded by constant reminders that my mission would fail. Never able to stay in one place because the shifters were always searching, always hunting. I wasn't alone. I discovered the first evidence of this a few days in. I heard the shifters become agitated. 
but I was nowhere near them. They were following somebody else, Paul Serene, a younger Paul, scared, weak, vulnerable. He found me, tried to convince me that we needed to work together to help each other through. He found out very quickly that I wanted him dead. He had no training, no killer instinct, but he had those damn powers, and all I had was the chronon harness. Okay, so it's the younger Paul, like the t-shirt Paul. The end of the world, the only two people left, and we became sworn enemies. I can't be sure how long we spent there. Could have been months, could have been years. When time doesn't move, it feels like an eternity. Our grip on reality slipped away, trapped in an endless loop of brutal survival. Though we were enemies, there was a strange bond formulated through the suffering. We have shared an experience that no other human has ever endured. Eventually, Paul managed to get William's time machine working. He was convinced that he needed to travel back to the earliest possible point in order to stop this all from happening. He had yet to learn that the past couldn't be changed. I followed him through the time machine, but he escaped. He formed Monarch. He built an empire. <sighs> what the heck? I watched the birth of a monster. I can't escape the feeling that my actions helped shape what he became. Maybe I could have guided him. Maybe if I hadn't tried to hunt him down and kill him in the end of time. That can't be my part in all of this. There has to be more. I wake up in a cold sweat most nights. I hear the shifters coming. I can almost feel their presence. Much of my experience at the end of time has become a blur in my memory, but there is one detail that I can't shake. One detail that brings my entire mission into question. One detail that haunts me. 2021. Okay. February 3rd, 2005. Hobbies. Five years until the countermeasure will be complete. I spend most of my days training. I don't know what happens once the device is finished, but being prepared is my specialty. So I wonder if Jack will follow the plan, if he'll emerge from that machine in 2010. Best not to think about it. I'm not giving up, but I can't let those thoughts consume me. I need to focus on the present, focus on what is in front of me. That's the mantra that keeps me going, just focus on the present. Oh my God, just wondering that whole time if he's gonna come and then he gets there and she just collapses. <laughs> So I decided to take some hobbies, tried poetry, got depressed, <laughs> dabbled guitar for a while, smashed it against the wall. Then I started experimenting with graffiti. It seems to be working out okay for me so far. It's fulfilling on a few different levels. Partly as a form of self-expression, partly as a means of release, partly just to fuck with people. What happens when Joe analyzes some graffiti on a wall one day, builds an interpretation in his head, and then three years later his depiction of the image comes true? Not sure, but it's fun to think about. I can't change anything, but at least this gives me the illusion of some kind of power. The illusion is what keeps me holding on. Sometimes I leave anonymous notes in people's mailboxes, telling them what will happen next week. I watch the reactions from afar. Voyeurism and graffiti, that's my life these days. Focus on the present. <clears throat> Jack. I started watching him recently. In 2007. No monarch is tracking him, so I keep my distance. I wasn't sure why I felt a need to follow him, to watch his life from the outside, but now I think I understand. I met Jack in the wake of his brother's death, the onset of the fracture. Was worst day of both of our lives, he was broken. That's the only Jack I ever knew. There's some kind of comfort in seeing him in happier times. I watched his band play a gig nearby. Okay, so he was in that band of the poster we saw. I just couldn't recognize him nearby atrociously bad whiny emo music definitely a music movement i didn't need to live through a second time but there was something pure about seeing him up there letting it all out he never had an easy life it was nice to see that he found a way to release all that he just looked happy it made me forget everything else the nightmare stopped for a while after that so i kept following him it gave me something else to focus on I spent most of my life hiding who i am but i know i knew jack but i or what i know I knew Jack for less than 24 hours, but he's the only person I've opened up to about everything. I told him the truth, he believed me. I wish I could thank him for that. I'm not sure what I'm going to tell him if he comes through the machine on July 4th, 2010. What will he think when he sees me? 11 years have passed, will have passed. I look like I've aged three lifetimes since then, and for him it could only be a matter of minutes. What do I say? That I saw the end? That this might be all or all be for nothing? I was one who believed without question that we would stop the fracture. That confidence in now being replaced with insecurity weakness, or has now. 
I fear letting him see that. I fear that he'll see the doubt in my eyes. For years I felt invincible, full of hope. I'm not that woman anymore, I'm scared. December 2007, memory. Tonight I painted something at the university campus. It was only after I finished and took a step back to look that I realized it was seen before, or I've seen it before, about a decade ago, remains of something painted on a wall but washed away. It was a jolt. Is all of this futile? Nothing sticks. Nothing has changed. All of it washed away by the river of time. Fucking time travel. July 9th, 2008. Will. I've been in contact with Will every six months or so. Short exchanges just to get an update on his progress building the countermeasure. He's still at least two years away from completion, but he's now confident that he knows how the countermeasure will work. He told me that the countermeasure will be able to reverse a fracture in time, but in order to do so, it must be activated early in the escalation of the fracture. I did that. I activated it early. I think, because I think it's the thing that helped with the life. I mean, it is. Maybe I did that. Maybe I saved the world. And of course, once the end of time is reached, he believes that countermeasure will be rendered ineffective. I asked him what it would mean if the end of time ever occurred. He said it would mean that the fracture was never stopped. It would mean that we failed. See, everything I have done has been for nothing. July 4th, 2010, final entry. The day is here. Soon I will receive word that William has completed the countermeasure. I'm sure of it. I've come to accept that this doesn't mean we will succeed. I've come to accept that my mission was a lie, but I'm not giving up. Lie or not, I devoted my life to this cause. It gave me meaning. It's all I've ever known. Even if I've seen the proof that it won't succeed, I'm not giving up. I will dedicate every ounce of courage I have left to seeing this through. I'll retrieve the countermeasure. I'll keep it safe until 2016. I'll do everything in my power to activate it when the time comes. I will fail, but I will fail knowing I did everything in my power to save the world. For years, I hoped that this would be the day when I would see Jack again. I've given up that hope. This mission started with me alone. That's how it will end. This will be my final entry. Oh my god. <laughs> Beth. Oh my god, I love her. That's so traumatic. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Okay, yeah, I know. Now that I'm playing this game, it definitely has way longer parts than in Control. Control has, like, more, because it's longer, I think, but this has, like, longer entries. Oh, my God, same prince. Oh, man. Hi, Leandro. Hi, chat. How we doing? Oh, man. <laughs> imagine having to do, like, imagine I can't do this anymore. No. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't fucking, fucking do this. Do this. Well, I'm glad I'm here. Because she was ready to give up. You love time traveling? You do it a lot. Hey. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Eleven years. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'll unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop, where he built it. Then that's where we go. Uh, yes, that was the plan. If Beth dies, I'm gonna freak out. I'm just saying. Oh wait, we're already. We just have to unlock this. So sad, I don't blame her. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know I that know. you never saw. I I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. Mm. 
sorry. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. Mm-hmm. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. It means we finish this. You need gear? Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river. Along with everything else I brought here. That's a little drastic. <laughs> my time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. She's not looking okay. <sighs> You followed Paul to 1999. Why did he travel so far back? To form Monarch. To make Monarch? Prepare for what's coming. You kept tabs on him. Mm-hmm. And he's kept tabs on me. <sighs> I'm ready when you are, Jack. Beth and Liam, Liam are the main characters, for real. They're all main characters, I love it. Okay, so Monarch formed, CEO never disclosed. Lucrative investments all based on Serene's future knowledge. Spotted follow Monarch spotted following William Joyce. Following William through Riverport, no longer safe to keep in direct communication. 2001, Martin Hatch hired. First listing Martin Hatch on employee chart, no details available on Hatch prior to this. Two, Monarch patrolling workshop. Monarch Spartan me near Will's workshop, barely escaped. 2003, Monarch in Fortune, on Fortune 500, well positioned. Investments have stopped, PR campaign has begun. 2005, spotted by Monarch, still searching. <laughs> Gull Island. Marnash promoted in 2006. Monarch spokesperson, previous spokesperson found dead. Every promotion in the hatch receives results from a trail of blood. Tower construction, 2008. 2009, Monarch investigated Will's workshop. Currently entering Will's workshop, they may know what we're up to. Monarch security cameras now surround it. Personal, okay, March 2010. Monarch Chronon Tech delayed. Monarch Chronon Tech research under a different not proceeding as planned. None of Chronon particles available. Ground Zero not present. Dr. Sobia Marl recruited, hires Chronon research as scientist. Oh, wait. Okay. Just thinking. Ooh, wait, wait, where's the... What do I want? I want that. Wait. Carbine rifle. I want tactical assault or tactical SMG. What do I want? I want heavy pistol. Heavy pistol. I want actually assault. Cool. Thank you. Okay. The countermeasures at Will's workshop. We find it, then what? You bring it back here, use the machine, and return to the future. Okay. Use it to stop the fracture. That was always the plan. That is still the plan. Yes. Stop and make my heart hurt. All right, hundred percent, Frick. Okay, we're ready. All right, Beth, let's go. 
can't imagine what happened to you. Mm. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. Oh, well, she looks... Exhausted. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, we'll change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. You we still don't get it. <laughs> no. It can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Then we'll die finding out. No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Act for part four, Will's Workshop 2010. Oh, frick, go oh, frick, go oh, frick. Wait, so, okay. I have an idea in my head, but I don't really know. Hi, chat. This is an emotional one. <laughs> I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through, what she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul, followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. Mm -hmm. Beth I'd known had laser focus. This Beth. She had doubts. You okay? Yeah. <sighs> but the countermeasure, the one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. There it is. In 2010, Monarch didn't own the area yet. That came shortly after because of what happened with you. But we knew William was building something new in his workshop, and we knew it must be important. We were monitoring the place. Yeah, Beth knew about your presence. She'd done spying on her own. We came over the rooftops to avoid detection. Mm. It's this way. Who's snoring in there? Oh, they're passed out drunk. <laughs> Where are their explosives here? Does Will know we're coming? No, he doesn't. Wanted to take the extra ship. I know, I know. True, it is Fourth of July. What are you gonna do with the extra cash? I'm gonna buy a tanning bed. I'm gonna live it. Wow, it's a reference. You wouldn't get it. I don't get it. What is that from? <laughs> this job sucks. <laughs> I've had worse. Listen to that party. I wish I was at that party. Our ship's over in a couple hours. Maybe we can crash it. Uh, beats going to the in-laws, shindig. Uh -huh. Sure, why not? Let's give it a shot. The worst that can happen is they call the cops and we spend the night in jail. I like the way you think. This way, Jack. Okay, sorry, I was eavesdropping. 
Whoa, those cranes are super high. Oh! Oh, they get to... Whoops. Sorry. Fight the goddamn power outages this week! That's the last straw! I've had it! Where the hell you think you're going, Punch? I got all the ripples. I quit! Let's go. I quit. You guys get to go to the party now. You're welcome. Easy to miss? Not for me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's all the ripples though? I don't like that. <clears throat> From this point on, we may be in their sights. I jumped on her. We need to be quick. All right, I'll be quick after I grab this. Grab, grab this after I grab this. Oh, after I. <laughs> I'm sorry. Still got it. Nervous. I'm getting very nervous. Hey, Will? He's not here. Oh. I made sure of that. But I what? want to see my brother. Why? He's the only one that knows how to use the countermeasure. Which is why he needs to be kept safe. In case... things go bad. Fine. We get the device, then you leave me to my brother. Sure. Now, where do we find this thing? Will said he secured it inside a safe. Somewhere in the building. Okay. Alright, Will. Where'd you hide that safe? find out 11 years building this thing was his life for 11 years yeah it's like yeah you know what my life was like for 11 years this must be where he built it what we got oh yeah. It's April 2nd, 1999. Oh, excuse me. It's been me. about a month since the incident. Since I was shot by the man from the future. Uh -huh. Since Wilder. I've moved the machine. Hidden it. I wish I could destroy it, but, um... I made it tell me as little as possible. The more you know about what'll happen, the worse it'll be. We're all puppets. I can take that for as long as I can't tell the difference. I think she understood. It doesn't matter anyway. She told me the fracture is gonna happen because of what I did. It's... planning on giving it to you. And it was stolen before he ever had the chance. Which means this is the only way it can play out. Mm, unless it's already stolen by somebody else or they come right now and steal it and we're not actually the ones who steal it because they have it. So how will we, how would we get it? Because they have it, you know? <sighs> 
<laughs> that was perfect time for that sound. Drew, thank you for 25 gifted. Welcome if you got a sub. Thank you so much. Perfect timing. <laughs> thank you. That's my thinking sound. Duh. <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh, I like those emotes more to more. Welcome, Parsi. All right, Will's journal. June 7th, 2010. Okay, so a month ago from now. Thanks for calling you psycho. <laughs> I don't take it back. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. The countermeasure is near completion. I should be celebrating. I should be excited. 11 years work is coming to an end, but there's a weight on my mind. I can't shake it off. Jack came to see me. He found out that I sold our parents' house to continue funding my research. Understandably, he was furious. After all, the house was left to both of us. He doesn't understand the necessity of what I'm doing here. Talking turned to yelling, yelling turned to pushing. He told me I wasn't mine to sell. He told me they were his parents too. He told me I was a piece of shit. Honestly. So that's why they haven't talked for six years? So now I don't blame you at all, Jack. Honestly, that sucks. That's so sad. Like he doesn't know why he did it, but when it happened. Thanks, Paradox, for lurking. Piece of shit. I was angry. I couldn't contain myself, and then I said it. I still don't believe the words came out of my mouth. I told him that it was his fault. The car crash. I told him he was to blame for everything we'd been through. I knew it was the one thing that could truly hurt him, and I used it. Bruh. Willie. Now I really understand why they didn't talk for six years. I can justify my actions as a result of months of fatigue, frustration, lack of sleep. It was wrong. I knew it as soon as I said it. He just stood there, devastated for what felt like minutes. I could see a wall building between us. He told me he's leaving this town. He's never coming back. That was three days ago. I haven't been able to reach him since. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't concentrate. I know the countermeasure will be finished soon, but that victory is a hollow one now. I spent 11 years building a device to save the world. The only thing that kept me going all this time was the fact that there was one person in the world I needed to protect. No matter what the cost, I just lost him. Oh, this is a painful chapter. Ugh. Owie. Hey, River Boy. I'm hey, River pretty Boy. sure you folks are having a better time than I am. Bobby's still stuck in the studio just a little while longer. Whereas all of you folks are out there enjoying what I hope are spectacular 4th of July parties. So set up some fireworks, <sighs> eat a little too much, drink until every joke you hear is funny, and spend some time with your loved ones. Appreciate the good things in your life, you know? Mm. This country ain't perfect, but it's still pretty damn good, and it's sure as hell worth celebrating. I'm about done here myself, but I can't wait to get home, crack open a beer or three, and kick back with the people I love most. We're gonna appreciate that this year is better than last year. And we've all got good things to look forward to. And isn't that what today's really all about? Being safe and free. Not having to be afraid. Knowing that we've made a future for ourselves. And that it's all gonna be all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Riverport, this is Bobby Radford signing off for tonight. And wishing all of you a happy Independence Day. Thanks, Bobby Radford. There's some things you need to eat. You're the only one who wants to stop it. There's no theoretical groundwork. It could take even years to build. And it will. You'll have to keep it a secret. Even from the ones you love. It's the only way to keep them safe. You witness one, didn't you? Mm-hmm. An echo. Yeah. It was you. A long time ago now. True. <sighs> so true. Ooh, I have six. Okay, so extra time stop. Oh, that's what I should have gotten. I thought I already had that. I swear I already bought that. You'd been there before. Mm. 
witnessed flashes through time. I assume pieces of that puzzle had come together since. And some are yet to come. It was all there on the board. The details of his downward spiral. Aww. His work consumed him. It became some kind of desperate you obsession. Don't blame him, but he was never the same. If you had to try to invent some crazy time machine shit to save the whole existence of everything, that could consume you a bit. Will's whiteboard. Call Jack on birthday. Apologize to Jack for not calling on birthday. Just second. Don't forget. There's a lot don't forget over what. Here. Maybe the safe's inside. Remember, pay electricity. Good luck. Yeah. Turn back on. Try to find a way in. Jack's birthday, June second. Oh my gosh. Buy groceries. Give Beth update on status. Erase this. June second. Apologize to Jack again. Jim Dr. What does this note mean? Buy whiteboard eraser. Meet the bank for loan. Shower first. Shower. Oh, man. Unwinding. <laughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. I just be sneezing. The device wasn't there. But it must have been at one time. The power setup wasn't working. But it must have worked at some point. Maybe I can rewind time to get this working. So true, Jack. Oh! I will. Did I do it? What <laughs> in there? Or is that right here? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna have enough voice to level up again, I feel like. <clears throat> We're doing it. 88%. Doors open. Come take a look at this. I'll look at this first. Oh yes, of course, diagrams. Wow, these are time machine designs. They are definitely time machine. Over here, Jack. I did it. He didn't leave the code, um, <sighs> but I can correct it. Uh oh, time. I just need some time to. Uh oh, I hear sirens. Yeah, Somebody's yep. here. She's like, I need time. That it's means we're gonna have to fight off. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew they'd find us. I'll take care of it. Just get that safe open. We're gonna Stay lose. Inside. Yeah. Okay. Wait, if they're here and they get this, but then how do they not know about the time machine that's right there? You'd been spotted Later. the moment you arrived. You never had a chance. Oh. Okay. You were on a suicide mission. Whatever. Yeah. I wasn't gonna lie down and just give up without a fight. Not then, not ever. This is Trojan One, approaching workshop perimeter, over. Remember, orders are to take her alive. Monarch Actual is en route. Roger. Hello, was I supposed to go up these stairs? My bad, I got excited. Or where am I going? Deal with them. All right, dealing, but I don't know. Okay, that's where I was going, but I didn't have any direction, so I got confused. If there's explosives out there or not. Hello, Mortimer. Hi, Sonny. 
Stop right there. Where's the girl? Uh... Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Take it easy. That seems to be the problem, guys. On your knees. Now! Trojan 4, we're going inside. No, you're not. He's got a gun! Open fire! No. We need backup. You won't be doing that. Ah! This is impossible. You see that? Kill them. Oh, how they dodge the bullets through my tiny whiny thing. They gave target. Don't actually kill Beth. Hand it over. Please don't actually kill Beth. I said, get out of my way. Please don't actually get back kill in. Beth. Please don't actually. I knew he was gonna steal it. I knew this would happen because he has it. But like, don't actually. Oh shit. Give me the device. No. Come with me. We can survive this together. Oh, this is what we saw. I think. You know it can't be stopped. I can see it in your eyes. You know this. What if you're wrong? Might be ground zero. We failed. We created ground zero. Yep. Caused everything to happen how it always did. Yep. Every piece falling into place. Yes, except did. one. The blast sent you through time, brought you back to 2016. The same exact time from which you left. Something anchored you there. We need to know how you did this. You think I wanted no. to come back? I was pulled away. Everything I came for was still back there. Left behind.
Beth, come on, move. Beth, get up. Beth, come on, get up. Please, Beth. Beth, you need to move, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Get the gun. Come on, come on, come on, Beth, move. Come on, please, please. Oh my God. Beth, move. Paul, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Please. I'm not wrong. You can't. No. Oh my God. No. Serene <laughs> had the countermeasure the whole time. I had to get back. A rash decision. You claim Beth Wilder's death had no impact on your behavior, but... Like I said, I barely knew her. Oh, no. So, what you did next, it wasn't personal? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy shit, I love this game. I hate it. I'm sad. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Junction's gonna. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> that one was so good and rude and emotional. <sighs> that was so rude. <laughs> no. Okay, wait. Okay, so. One of these accents with a Paramore song? Which song? Shut up. Are you for real? This will be my favorite game ever. I have the, the copyright music's uh, muted, but what song? Are you for real? Oh my god. That's so cool. Paramore's my favorite band. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's now by Paramore? Wait. Now. Don't try to take this from me. Don't try to take this from me now. That one? Wait, that song is so good. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm gonna die. Oh, it was Act 3 song? Oh, frick. I wish that. It wasn't illegal to listen to music on street. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, let's go. Don't try to take this from me. Don't try to take this from me now. Control surrender. Oh, I don't shit. have much time left, I know. Oh shit. I spent 17 years working it out, planning it, building Monarch. Because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? <sighs> I'm slipping away into pain and rage. Me too. The sickness is accelerating. CFR. It has cost me so much. But I have harnessed its power. And with it, my plan will work. How do you... With it, I will keep the lights on when the world goes dark. Okay, but like... Mr. Serene, sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have that cleanup report on Dr. Kim's lab you wanted. Meet me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I've sealed the CFR chamber. He's killing everybody Jack cares about. Does he not understand that he just... Okay. The, the lab reason... explosion. 
My treatments, all gone. Oh no, your treatments. <laughs> first things first, seal the chamber. First things first, frick you. Um, so he's, so he's like, I've seen time, I've seen, or I've seen the end of time, and it doesn't work. But like, how do you know it doesn't work? Because you're the one who's stopping it from working because you stole it to do your own stupid ass thing. But what if you didn't freaking do that? Then maybe it would work, because Will made it so it would work. You stupid... You bastard. You loser. <laughs> you got owned in Game of Thrones. You're gonna get owned in this game, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sad. The Cronon Field Regulator. William's precious countermeasure. Need to keep it safe at all costs. The lifeboat depends on it. Your lifeboat is stupid. You're stupid. I hate you. You're stupid. I'm sorry. I'm just joking. No, I'm not. So then, okay. That's cool. I was gonna, when I was saying, um, oh, I think something earlier, I was like, I bet that we're about to cause ground zero, but I didn't know for sure, and I didn't say But that makes sense. So that's where he was affected a second time, so then that's where he began being sick, right? Because that was... Ground zero is where that happened. you had yeah yeah it does make sense now it's so crazy cfr has been secured uh mr serene i'm in your office i'll be right there serene out who said that the soldier doesn't know how close to the end i am oh, this is Jesus. i'm not afraid of death i'm afraid of becoming the enemy Oh, no. What that would mean for me, for the plan. I can feel it infesting my thoughts. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe if you don't want to be the bad guy, you shouldn't be killing everybody who's trying to fix things. Ever think about that? Maybe you shouldn't do bad stuff that hurts my feelings. Ah. <laughs> uh. Really I don't know who to trust anymore. Oh no, my graphics card's exploding. Martin Hatch. He used me all these years. Okay, but How maybe... deep does this betrayal run? Maybe he was right. How many more are there? They, they wanted the lifeboat to fail. Why? Yeah, because you're a dick. What's their agenda? Whoa. Oh, there it is. Sir? Oh, I don't know what to do. Be right with you, son. Son. Yo, what's with 9 11? Did you cause that? I spent years living in the past. Living in the safety of knowing what happens next. Years of planning, building. It's all come to this. Twenty twenty one. That's what she said. Maybe you shouldn't have done this. Cause maybe you freaking caused in the first place fracture begins because it's your fault and you did it can i question the path this is our only salvation gray area events unknown well maybe that's because you don't in what distant deeps or skies burnt the fires in thine eyes on what wings dare he aspire what the hand dare seize the fire i am the symmetry of fear i am the weight of salvation i am chosen okay you're just on crack so good luck Anti-shifter weapons delivered. Phase three complete. 
they used to be called the end of time prep solution at fracture earliest estimated delivery so new subjective years after end of time definitely not because anyone died <laughs> i'm so upset i knew she was gonna die but i didn't i hoped i was so not on the right track she had to that's so sad and that really was her final entry in her journal <laughs> report sir you ordered us to search the demolished lab your treatments were destroyed but there was one left the casing appears to be broken but uh it's all we could find Clarice. The treatment's right here. Whenever you're ready. Thank you. I'm busy reading my emails. It's really important. Okay. So October 10th, 2016. Clarice Ogawa to Paul. Mr. Serene, I just heard that you ordered Mr. Hatch arrested. I understand that there appears to be damning evidence against him, but at the risk of offering my opinion where it's not wanted, I ask you to reconsider the situation. As Mr. Hatch, that's because she's working with him, but like, it's okay. As Mr. Hatch has repeatedly said, there are people working against you within Monarch, and I believe he's right. I don't know who they are, obviously. <laughs> but I believe that Mr. Hatch's attempt to expose them have made him a target. I'm sure you can see what I mean. It seems very convenient that just as Mr. Hatch has been trying to convince you that there are people you can't trust in the Monarch, your treatments are destroyed, and he is implicated. Okay, but he literally did it, so... <laughs> Looking at this from the POV of an actual traitor, I can't think of a better way to get rid of a threat. Strike... Or a threat strike against you, you and ally, ally suspicion or allay suspicion all in one bold move. Obviously, sir, I trust your judgment, and you know I have the highest respect for you. I don't mean to second guess you. Still, I'm afraid that you're being manipulated. Martin Hatch is not your enemy. That's what someone working with Martin Hatch would say. Oh, interesting. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna throw up. I don't wanna choose. At least this is less stressful than games like Detroit, because Detroit has constant choices throughout. This just has one big choice at the end of each thing, and it's okay, but it's not. Okay, you know? One of my treatments. But it's damaged. Damn, you better die instead. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. Ooh. Ooh, like if he takes it, he's trying to control his life, but the it The treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? I will be throwing up now. I'm not even gonna look at chat. Okay. Control. I mean, that's the name of the other game, so... <laughs> I'm not a traitor. You're the same now. And I need your help. I can focus on the mission. The lifeboat. See it through to the end. I still have allies I can trust. Look, you have to realize you're not going to keep me from getting the CFR. Last chance to walk away, Joyce! Liam Burke. He would fight to defend us. To slow Jack down. The plan could still work. But would he do that? I'm confused. I don't think so, because he... Well, ooh. Mm, but then... Ooh, okay. Hold on. You have all betrayed me. Assured my downfall. <gasps> and now... I will assure yours. Wait, who... My world will be renewed. My world will see balance. Chaos. It's falling apart. Is this supposed to be Liam? They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You'll need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. All right? Joyce fixes the fracture. He fixes the world. And they'll go home happy. Charlie Wincott. Another weakling. 
The traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer. All of them. I particularly don't like that. So he holds on to his reason in a final effort to see his plan through, but he's gonna fail. And Liam's gonna, okay, so Liam, well, okay, so Liam, all he wants is protect his wife and unborn child. And he will do anything to do that, but like, he's gonna, he's not gonna help him. He, he, Monarch was gonna kill his literal wife and child. Serene stops fighting his crown syndrome. He loses faith in his plan and Monarch. Honestly, I don't know. I don't like this. I literally hate this. I don't want to. I need to watch this again. I don't like it. I'm not a traitor. You're the same now. And I need your help. I want him to I unwind. Can focus on the mission. The lifeboat. See it then through. Then he to might the end. actually be like. Oh, okay. I still I'm have touching. allies I can trust. Look, you have to realize you're not going to keep me from getting the CFR. The last chance to walk away, Joyce! Liam Burke. He would fight to defend us. To slow Jack down. The plan could still work. You have all betrayed me. I kind of like this one. No. Assured my downfall. I want him to un... Why would Hatch? No. I don't think I will. I will assure yours. My world will be renewed. My world will see balance. Chaos. It's falling apart. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You'll need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. All right? Joyce fixes the fracture. He fixes the world. No more happening. I mean, I like that line. Another weakling. True. A traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer. Liam won't really die, All right? I literally can't look at chat. I don't even want to glance up right now. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> okay, last time I thought they wouldn't really shoot somebody that they showed being shot at in a thing, in a, in a, in a premonition. They really, they really shot him when I didn't think they were gonna really shoot him, but he won't really shoot Liam, right? That's like all I'm scared about. But okay, no, I'm honestly worried about the control one because, cause Liam might actually like be like, okay, I see what you're saying about the lifeboat. If you can get my wife in this lifeboat, then I, I'll help you. Like, cause that's all he's worried about. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like that's kind of scary. I, ca I just kind of want him to unwind, but I'm really scared about people dying. But like Charlie said, it's going to be a happy ending. <laughs> I'm really worried. But Hatch, oh my God, is he going to shoot Liam? He won't shoot Liam. It's fine. It's fine. I'm worried. I'm worried about that one. Ugh. Liam's been shot before. Okay, just one more time. Let me make sure I am having anxiety. You have all betrayed me. Assured my downfall. <laughs> He's not really gonna. Now, I will assure yours. My, my world will be, be renewed. renewed. My world my will, will see balance. See balance. It's not Chaos. Me. More chaos. I did apart. choose chaos. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You need to get to Sir. Oh, He's sorry. He's got direct access to the CFO. Oh, I can skip it. Okay. Oh, good. I skipped everything. I don't need to choose. Um, honestly, like YOLO, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Paranoia. I like that. See, I want him to be unwound. Sir? I want him to freak uh, out and have a right? horrible, terrible. Oh, yes. Sir, well, I you like ordered us to go through Dr. Kim's lab. Find what we can... Who are you working for? Like, you, like... sir! Liar! He what needs to unwind. Oh. 
his downfall. <sighs> I feel it. Like he's just snapped, you know. In, in fact, he's he breaks, you know. No. Any of them. You don't have control. It could be any of them. Oh. I need to be careful. Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> I want him to fall apart. Bradbury swimming pool. <sighs> Go there. Look around, find out. That was so stressful. Oh, oh I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that each of my choices are the minority playing this. Hi, dear. I don't, honestly, no, I like it. I like it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Liam, please. It's okay. 28%. It's fine. I'm not even looking at chat. Hi, chat. <laughs> don't laugh. Okay, you can laugh. All right, well, let's see what happens. Uh. Previously. Paul Sawin's become unhinged. What about my treatments? Yeah, even He's more unhinged. The Joyce oh, could sad. collapse within know. eight hours. He has the chance to fix it, but he thinks he's to. doing he's the right to let things end. And this is where we come in. Good evening, Dr. Amaral. I really just the kept going all wacky. Back. This is so wacky. I've come to free you, my friend. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. What was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit minutes before the explosion. Sophia's loyal. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. Dr. Holden, the protocol's been initiated. Liam? Liam, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so I have some information about Morton Hatch. I want him apprehended immediately. Boat protocol. Oh, jeez. Twenty-two afters. Uh, Twenty-two hours after the fracture. Look at his eye drops. What is wrong with me? I've never been so chaotic. I think. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh, he just, oh, he's so chill. I knew that would happen. Like, I'm back on his side. I'm not really, but if he kills Liam, though, this is so cool. Dr. Emerald, you Where's heard? Paul? I need to speak with Paul. Right this way. <laughs> Bitch. Sorry. Oh no. Oh god, I'm scared actually. Oh no. Oh no. You initiated it. Paul, oh, look yeah. at you. You need your treatment. I don't need anything! Listen to me. The time machine was different than Monarch's. It was William's original. I had a chance to examine its main board. There were key elements in its design that were blatantly different from ours. The accident, it, it, it wasn't an accident. These were the very changes that William was so agitated over. He was warning us. It was him, Paul. It was Martin. He wanted the fracture to happen. Go to the lifeboat. They'll need you. 
What about you, Paul? I have to get to the swimming hall. Paul. Now, Sophia! Go! Oh, shit. So he didn't... Okay, so because... Oh, I thought he would stop trusting her, but I chose to trust her, so... Hey, Mr. Punk, welcome back. Thank you. Hey, Julia. Sorry I was gone. Charlie? I don't know how, but I'm rooting for you. You got this, Charles. Come on. I wouldn't go that far, you know. I would not go that far. No, I'm not insane. I'm just rooting for the existence of time and the Hello, universe. Darling. You can hear this, but it's Fiona. I need your help. Do you copy? <laughs> Beth? It's Fiona. Do you copy? Fiona, stop! Just speaking. This is Jack Joyce. <laughs> Beth told me you were working together. You might be the only ally I have left. What happened? Serene. There wasn't anything I could do, but Fiona, there is something we can do now. I need to find something we'll call the countermeasure. It's 12 sided, small, metallic, like a soccer ball. The CFR. The what? The chronon field regulator. That is the countermeasure. And it can fix the fracture. Did, but I did that. The little loady thing is under my camera. I did something. Quantum wave. Or ripple. From turning the lights off, yeah. I guess so. Except that was in 2010.
I'm so great. How are you? <laughs> shell shock. Basement five. You don't do anything, everybody else do everything. Just kidding, sorry. CFR to fix the fracture. We need to get it to him. CFR is what's powering this place right now. Be honest. Awkward. But I oh well. spoke to him. I spoke to Jack Joyce, and he needs it. Just if you if you let Joyce use the CFR, then that means the lifeboat's gone. No, no, no. That's not, no. That's these not people the... down here, they can figure it out. They can fix the fracture. That's what, what you wanted in the people? first place. These people. This is Monarch. Okay? They're the ones that got us into this. Do you think they give a shit about any of us? What if William already solved it by creating the thing that solves it? Hello? I mean, you realize what you're asking. Why would have made it and figure out made it if it didn't? What's the plan once we get to Monarch? We need to find a way onto the lifeboat. Damn. What are you doing? They need to stop. Damn, she's pregnant. Careful. Jack, we, we know where the notice. CFR is, but... Jack, it's Charlie. Listen, it's at the top of the Monarch Tower. So you gotta follow my instructions exactly. Jack. Uh -oh. Jack? That's not a secure line to be Jack. communicating on. Also. Jack. Fiona, stop. Jack! No, no, no. Look. That area up there, 
is insanely secure. He's not gonna be able to get in. Bet. Hey, 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 wait! Wait. I need to finish this. I know, but I'm the one that should go. The CFR defenses. Gosh. There's no way he's gonna be able to get past them alone. I'm the only one. I mean, you belong down here. You actually would be useful. I'm dead weight. Just, I'm a glorified locksmith. Why don't you let somebody else be the hero? Okay. Okay, tough chick. Everyone needs IT, Charlie. So true, nerd. Fuck you. <laughs> Hey, Charlie, you're an okay date. I know. Sorry I used you, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> Stop saying he's a Chad, disgusting. Come oh, on. I did, I affected this, oh God. Oh God, I affected this. to protect his woman. Nothing hotter. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I love him. I don't want him to die. Our war is underway. And the time has come to fight for our place in this existence. My enemies, some have shown their faces. Others are still out there. And... Stop buffering. And what? Oh, sorry. Oh, that was sick. John Wick 2. Oh my god. Scared. Hatch, please. Hatch, please. Please, Hatch. I did ensure. I did ensure your downfall. I did that. Excuse me. Oh shit! Hey, no, no. Three times you fucked me. I know that. What it looks Get like. On the ground. Not... On the ground. I'm a coward, all right? I have to look after myself. <laughs> Who else is gonna do it, huh? Well, what I'm doing right now, where I'm going, it's not about me. You said you would get us on that list. Yeah, I know that's what I said, but plans the have list, changed. The Charlie! Joyce can fix the fracture. You're running out of words, Charlie. William, do it for her. Don't kill him in front of your own pregnant wife. That's what you care about, right? Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, that's what you're doing this for, huh? huh? That's why you left everything in Monarch for your family. And for what? So you could raise your kids in a glorified basement? True. Because that's all the lifeboat's gonna be. I mean, Serene's lost his mind. If the lifeboat was the answer, don't you think I would be on it? Hmm? I mean, listen to this guy. He's insane. Perfect. See? He's unwinding. No one trusts him. Don't do anything. Okay? Hey! Okay. Okay. Joyce fixes the fracture, he fixes the world, we all go home happy. But I have to help him, and I can't do that if you kill me. If you're wrong about this... I know, don't worry. I'll shoot myself. <laughs> Lose the harness. But he need that. I get it. You know, we have trust issues. Whatever. An army with the power to prove to the world that you can travel this road, you can prevail. Oh, no. <laughs> He's so 
sickly unwinding. That's We're it. here? We're already here? We're here? Looks like a CFR to me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Hatch, it's okay, sorry. Liam. It's okay. Everybody chill. Drop it. He won't, she's pregnant. I'm so scared. Breathe. Oh, it's hey. fine. It's not a fatal spot. He's okay. He's just Swiss cheese. Oh, this is crazy. I can't do that. Please. Understand something, Charlie. This world, you know, this world is at its end. But one world's end is merely another's beginning. And my world will be renewal. My world will see balance. What does that mean? Uh, let me, let me see what I can do for you. Can you? Wow. He didn't shoot him in the heart. <clears throat> I shot him in the lung and the spleen. <laughs> oh my god, stop. <laughs> Liam, don't die. <laughs> She's a nurse, it's fine, guys. <laughs> Stop it, stop it. You need to save this to me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I did this for us. I did this for us. I did, I did it for us. I just I never knew what we could be. I never I knew it was selfish. <laughs> Don't you? I'm only sorry I didn't have to get sooner. Just hang on. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's okay. I don't like it. I'd give anything for that year. I'd give anything for that year. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Just buffer. Just buffer a sec. I'll give you a sec. Just buffer. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. Do not do that at this moment, okay? Come on. Come on. Stop! Oh my god, literally everybody's dying today. This sucks ass. Oh, <laughs> I chose this. I chose this. <laughs> it's okay. It's for the greater good. It's fine.
hope <laughs> for the greater good. Is it though? I don't know. Hatch is gonna get it. Oh my god, am I gonna have to fight Hatch? Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. Are you locking him in there? Are you gonna blow him up? What are you doing? Charlie Slay, I don't know what you did, but... Oh my gosh. Okay, good job. Oh. Burke! Oh, Burke? Man. They shouldn't have gone with him. <gasps> what the fuck? Let's try this again. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Why does he need eye drops in there? What is he? What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I'm stressed. Come on, I won't turn off. Shouldn't we go? Huh? Oh, there gotta be a way. There gotta be a way. There gotta be a way. Takes it. It's stutter proof. What? I have to help Jack Joyce. Hey, come here. What's your name? Uh, em Emily. Emily what? Burke? Uh, Emily Burke. Yeah. I'm putting your name on the list for the lifeboat. Look, you gotta go take the elevator all the way down. You'll know when you see it. Yeah. All right? I got it. Once you get down there, I want you to find Fiona Miller for me, okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Tell her what happened here. Tell her this world, it's a weird place. Nah, that's always gonna need people like her to help understand it. And then I'm gonna help make it right. Help keep it going. Oh my God. Tell her <laughs> I finally feel connected. Why is this so good? Oh my gosh. Oops, sorry, Liam, but like, oh, I just had to choose that one. That was so good. Was like, uh, Beth died, Liam died. I'm literally my favorite characters, both of them died. <laughs> That's so wrong. Oh, but it's okay. This is so good. It says five, so we're gonna finish it tomorrow. <laughs> That was really good. Oh my god, why do people not like this game? It's so cool. It's so cool. We get a book and a TV show and a video game with time travel all put together. What is wrong with you guys?
<laughs> in a remedy. In a in a alternate reality remedy verse. So cool. Oh my god. Well, that was awesome. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. I don't wanna blind us. There we go. No, they don't need to do a show for Control or Alan Wake. They did it perfectly. They put, they mixed other media in with that too, like beautifully. True, they did make Bright Falls TV show as well. Oh man, that was awesome. Thanks everyone. Nope, I'm gonna play Max Payne whenever they're remade. Oh, I feel so sad. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend Liam's alive. Oh, thanks, Rick. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow, guys, and then I won't be on Thanksgiving or Friday. So Thursday, Friday. Uh, Drew, you scared me. <laughs> you scared me. Thanks, Drew. Welcome if you got a sub. Thank you so much. You're crazy. Oops, I said it again. Thank you. Welcome if you got a sub. Everybody should be subbed here. There's no way every anyone's dodging those. Thank you. Thanks, Izai, for being here. Thanks, Mortimer. Thanks, everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. That was emotional. I'm gonna go cry at the gym. Bye, Diaz. Thanks, Ernie. That wasn't you? Oh, my bad. Thanks, whoever that was. <laughs> All right, have a great night, everyone. We'll process that, and we'll be back tomorrow to finish. Bye, Claw. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much. Bye, we. Bye. See y'all tomorrow. Thank you so much. Okay, bye.